Today, we're going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound barium sulfide. So let's see where these elements are located on the periodic table, and then we'll take it from there. The first element that I see is barium, and barium is located all the way down here on the periodic table. Barium is labeled as a BA. BA for barium. Now it's in group 2. All elements in group 2 are metals, they're alkaline earth metals, and they all follow the charge of being a plus 2. So barium is BA, and it's a plus 2. The next thing is, I see that I have sulfide. I see that it's an IDE ending, which means that it should be a nonmetal somewhere on the periodic table. So I say, okay, sulfide, oh, this was sulfur on the periodic table. So I look for sulfur, and sulfur is over here. Sulfur is an S, and it's in the group that has an oxidation charge of being a negative 2. So I'm going to put S, negative 2. Now since we have the two elements and the two charges, all we got to do is take those charges and crisscross them to see how many of each element I need. So this plus 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I needed two sulfurs, and this negative 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two bariums. But ionic compounds, they always need to be simplified. When you see that you have the same number that's higher than 1, you need to simplify this number by division. If I take both of these and divide them by 2, I will get a smaller number, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. That number, the, the 1, is the new number of the element. So when I start naming this, the formula, right, I have barium. I'm going to say that I have one of them. So I don't have to write this one here. The next is S. I have one of those. I don't have to write the ones. You can, but, you know, you don't have to. And that's the end. So barium sulfide is B-A-S. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? If you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates, all right? We'd love to help them out too. So let's keep going. We got a lot more to do. And I will see you in future lessons. Take care. Bye-bye.